The goal of this meeting has always been to bring all of the community together, and all of the world experts together, and talk about advancing the field of mitral valve repair for patients. Over these two days, the attendees are exposed to every conceivable procedure and approach to repair a mitral valve, and that's something I'm really proud about. As always, the mitral valve conclave is very exciting, and it's all about communication and teaching. It's so concentrated. Everyone is here thinking about the mitral valve. This is a time that is just exploding in the mitral valve area due to technology and new techniques. We can take the true experts and teach people techniques so mitral valve disease can be treated in a thoughtful and standardized fashion. Mitral valve disease is a global problem and so what we find here is global solutions. I come from Belgium all over the Atlantic to New York City because this is where all the experts are. And when you get all of these experts together, everyone leaves a better mitral valve surgeon than when they arrived. They have all of the thought leaders in mitral valve surgery from around the world all in one room. Having an opportunity to mix with our colleagues, hear what they have to say, I think it's an extremely important and useful forum. In medicine, nothing is black and white. It's all different shades of gray. I've been in sessions on atrial fibrillation. I'm here to talk about tricuspid surgery and aortic valve surgery. People are learning a lot about heart valve disease. People can really see practical aspects of what we do. So I think a lot of surgeons are attending here because they can see the real world. I uh, learn uh, the latest uh, techniques uh, that can be used uh, for a durable uh, repair and add that to my armamentarium. To go through all the possibility of uh, treating mitral valve disease, so it, it, it is really worthwhile to, to come here and to attend these two days. It is extremely important for the cardiologist to be at a mitral conclave, a meeting like this. So we will understand exactly what they do, what their thought patterns are, how we can help them help their patients and our patients. So it's absolutely critical that the cardiologist becomes a real member of the team. In many circumstances, you can repair a valve rather than replacing it. And there's so many advantages to that for the patient. So the more people that understand the exact way to repair a valve safely, efficiently, and with a great result, better for the patient.